Hello everyone and welcome to my next reaction to The Witcher. So this is my reaction to the penultimate episode of season three and well the last episode was kind of crazy. It was bananas honestly. Um, uh, it's so funny whenever I get to the end of certain episodes like that um, I just feel like my post episode thoughts are not as good because I'm still processing everything that happened, but genuinely, um, I think this episode might deal with a lot of the consequences of everything that happened in the last episode, and I might have a little bit more time to process uh, while I watch this episode, and maybe my post-episode thoughts will be a little more clear and less scatterbrained, because there was a lot. There was a lot to take in within that last episode, all right? Um, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm very excited to see what's going on next. Let's go. Oh! Okay. Well, I guess that's what happened to Siri. You know, he's so worried for every person that he loves. I thought I'd seen the last of you. Yeah. That was the plan. Oof. Oof. You don't need to stay here listening to me. We have to get you out of here. There's an old trapper's route up where the village diverts in there. Oh, yes, yeah, scary. Boxing fed. Just let me be there with you. Prove that more than a mask. Which? No. Your friend the sorceress left this for you. She said to tell you something out there waits for you. Cirilla was once our guest as well. Mm. She found her way to you. She ain't dead. And I lost her. Uh, you surely did. I feel like this is a bad situation. I don't even know what you do at this point. Oh. Yeah, I don't know if the signal's gonna reach. I don't. Who lives in Lil? Oh! Oh shit. Hello? God. No, I'm Siri. Go on. Just keep going. Yes, but keep going where? I guess you gotta try to find something, right? Like, I, I get it, but still. <laughs> there looks to be a lot of nothingness, so. Not the most optimistic situation, you know? So if I go towards the setting sun, I'll be going west to the mountains. There'll be food and shelter there. Right. Okay, I guess that's, oh no, oh boy. Um, I guess that's a plan. Oh no! Oh, I've been walking the wrong way all night. I will not die here. I will not die here. I will not die here! Okay, okay. Oh boy. Oh fuck. Maybe rest a moment. I know that, like... Find you and follow you right out of this fucking desert. Okay. Alright, never mind. She's determined. No resting today. <laughs> I just thought it would be good if she collected herself. Where a the fuck bit, did but... you go? Okay. Oh. 
Ooh. Oh, God. oh no, no, no. Uh, maybe get away from it. If it's, oh, oh. She's just going crazy. I honestly wouldn't blame her. So. I need some fucking food. I can't do this anymore. Oh. Wait. <laughs> She's like, wait, I'd like to eat you. That's certainly no way for a princess to behave. Oh boy. Oh no. I thought about you so much. I've dreamt about you. Here you are. Abandoned once more. I wasn't abandoned. Thanks, Mom. Mom said he'll find me. But you, my child, are a heavy weight to bear. Oh. I, say all this. I can only imagine how relieved Geralt was to see you run into that tower. Perhaps when you get down to it. You are too much for everyone. No, you don't know me! I see you, little fucker! Oh, yeah, oh, jeez. Oh, okay. Maybe it's so good. I'm not surprised. What is this place? You may come to know it. Like I said, it's a possibility. It could be one of many futures. It all depends on what you decide. I'm going insane. The past, the future. Like, like, is this the Christmas the Carol? Time. What's going on? It's bullshit. <laughs> Something we have in common. Both insane princesses abandoned by the people who are supposed to protect us and royally fucked over by our families. At least yours had the decency to die on their own. I had to kill mine. Yep. Your family. Most importantly, my father. Can I tell you something? I think I have the power to change things. You're not the first person to feel that way. You could be the last. Hello? Hello? <laughs> okay. Yourself 
and cinder into dust and oblivion. You oh. were by hubris and fear, and so instead of helping people, you led into a cycle of violence. You couldn't lead a horse to water. Shut up. <gasps> okay, ow. Ah. Yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Let it out, girl. Another tip? Don't punch rocks. Okay. I to you again. This girl's got ready, jokes. I, <laughs> I always had a talent for attracting friends. I should have been queen. But when my father denied me my royal destiny, I decided to rally the common folk. I took back what was rightfully mine. In the only way I knew would send an unforgettable message. Blood and fire. I've heard that story. Fitting, since in the end they tied me to a stake and burned me alive. Your Falca. That's what I, I The story said you were a demon. You want to change the system, Princess Cirilla? Burn it to the ground. Sheesh. Why can't Siri just have a nice vision of Yaskier being lovely? Why can't that be the, like the next one? Like a little pep talk. Something, I don't know. Something's not right. I can sense something. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh, sweetie, I don't know. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Oh no! Oh my god! You don't want to watch the unicorn die? Oh, oh come on. Oh no, that's not good. Oh, come on. Fuck, fuck, Oh, to be a helpless princess. I'm not helpless. It's forbidden. By who? Jennifer said it's dangerous. Or choose a bandit. Otherwise, this creature, your friend, will die if you don't help him. Like that. What you are. Feels easy. Oh boy. This might not be good. good. But you, Cirilla, you're different. You will change everything. Um, oh boy. Is righteous. Your revenge is justice. They deserve to suffer. Make them. You always be their. Ah! What the fuck? Ah, that is not the yes, your vision I wanted. I will give you up. They'll only hold you back. This is your power. Magic is everywhere. I don't want it. 
This her, all right. How can you be sure she's the one? Have you seen many an ashen-haired, green-eyed whelp on the edge of the desert? You dickless knobhead. This is the girl he's looking for. Fine. No need to be so mean about it. You two pick her up. In the me cabinet, I see you. Okay. Change your mind. War. Mm. You're giving them refuge. It's not well. Geralt? <laughs> you decent? <laughs> He's never decent. <sighs> what news? Oh. Hey. Well, oh, you're right. Oh, Sarah. Jennifer's fine. She's safe. There is no. Sarah's all right. She's all right. She's. Sorry, girl. Sarah's missing. Jennifer's hunting for her. They paced it to the ground. Oh. I tried to find survivors. They were willing to kill everyone. For me, it worked. The Emperor announced the celebration. She's on her way to Nilfgaard. Okay. Okay, guys. So you know what's hilarious? Uh, as I said, um, at the end of the last episode, episode six, there was just a lot to take in. You know what I mean? And I was sort of like processing a lot of stuff. I was trying to figure out how I felt about a lot of things. And I genuinely felt like after I edit it, I'm going to notice some different things. So when I did my post episode thoughts for the last episode, I felt like it was kind of scatterbrained. And that's okay, because it's it's my first initial reactions. And a lot of times I use the time for the post episode thoughts to uh, kind of say things that maybe I don't say during the reaction because, I, you know, I don't want to talk over stuff. I try to be as mindful of that as, as I can be. Sometimes it does happen because, you know, it is a raw reaction, you know. But, um, you know, and it was kind of funny because after I filmed it, and I'm a bit of a perfectionist, so that's why I, I have issues with stuff like that. But I was like, I don't think those post-episode thoughts were really good at all. I kind of just was saying things and I really, I was kind of hoping that this episode was going to deal with a lot of the fallout of that, uh, of that episode. And then I could kind of really process, you know, while watching this one. And I said to myself, I was, I was sitting down for this reaction and I said, I'm going to make episode seven's post episode thoughts. Great. I'm going to be so insightful. I'm going to be. And then I got that. <laughs> I'm motioning to my TV. Um, uh, okay, and it's not that I... <laughs> okay, um, here's the thing. Uh, I feel like a lot of times when people watch these types of episodes that really focus on one character and their journey, and, you know, we, we've kind of been seeing Siri sort of struggle with what her destiny is. You know, one of the moments that I absolutely adored uh, through from this season was when Yaskier kind of told her, like, you're, you're great just on your own. I, I, I have no, you know, I'm not trying to push you towards being anything or, or, um, and because he kind of knows that she's got a lot of weight on her shoulders when it comes to a lot of this stuff. And I kind of really appreciated that moment. And I feel like it's just something she's been struggling for with for so long and to be so young and to have all of this like importance just laid on to you. I feel like we're kind of exploring that throughout this episode within her own mind. And I do understand that a lot of times some of these types of episodes in, in any show, I'm not really talking about The Witcher, maybe doesn't get received so well from fans. I feel like especially after such a like, 
you know, crazy, so much thrown at you, battle driven episode. Um, and it, it's kind of interesting because um, I feel like it all led up to the moment of where she kind of basically says, I relinquish my power. And I don't really know what the fallout of that is going to be and what that really means. Um, just a reminder to anybody who cares, um, but I have not read the books and I have not played the game. So my only knowledge of the universe or the lore is what is presented to me on the screen. So I'm going to kind of just wait to see what happens in the finale to sort of, you know, make, uh, I guess, a judgment call on or, or to possibly have more <laughs> insightful thoughts on everything that happened with Siri. Um, it is interesting that she was kind of driven to sort of tap into that fire magic and, you know, what does that really do to a person? And, I, you know, there's warnings for a reason. I mean, Yen had like a firsthand experience with all of that. And, you know, what she was really uh, being encouraged to do, uh, you know, um, and I'm, I'm quite... You know, I feel like that that was really a moment, at least the moment where she says, I, you know, relinquish my power. Um, it was really a moment of just being scared of what damage she could do. You know, there's a lot of um, guilt surrounding Siri, even though, you know, she does have people that love her and that she wants to protect and everything like that. But she does have a lot of you know, in the past, um, trauma that's happened to her and guilt that's happened, that she's felt, um, deservedly so or not, you know, like, not really, I'm kind of just talking from her perspective here. And, uh, you know, I think this was just a moment of like, I'm, n I do not want to become this horrific being you know, she's getting told a lot about what her destiny is, what she can do and what she should do and and everything like that. And I truly believe, at least this is how I interpreted it, in that moment, she was looking at Yen, Geralt and Yaskier as her family. And she's like, that's what's important to me right now. And I understand that I have the weight of the world on my shoulders and this destiny and everything, but I don't want to lose that. I don't want to lose them. They are important. That's how I took it. I might be wrong. <laughs> I'm very aware that, you know, I'm not the um, authority of knowledge on the Witcher universe or anything. Um, but uh, I loved Focus on Yaskier in this episode and him just, you know, I, I, I just have to, I have to say this and um, I, I feel like a lot of people feel very similarly, but it's just, it, it always warms my heart or I don't know exactly how to say it, but it, it makes me emotional to see Yaskir, I mean, go into a battlefield where he is just trying to find his family, uh, full of people that are very capable, that are um, more super powered than him. I'm going to put a little quotes because I think Yaskier is the best and he has did all the, the power of the heart and it just, you know, and anyway, but, um, you know, they have all of these abilities and things that they can really protect themselves. And he is still in it because he thinks he can help. And that is why I love him so, so much. I love his relationship with Geralt so, so much. I'm very glad that he found him and, um, I, I mean, we're just, we're just going to have to wait and see what happens next. It's so funny. I was really waiting for this episode to kind of follow a lot of different characters. I'm fine with following Siri. Like, don't get me wrong with that. But following a bunch of different characters with the fallout of everything. And I was going to kind of like process and figure, you know, and that really n didn't necessarily happen in this one. So it's going to be very, very interesting to see what they do for the finale. All right. I think that's all I want to say about that. Okay. Uh, if you would like to support me on Patreon or subscribe, I would really appreciate it. But if not, I'm just happy that you were here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time.